Picture this. It's Tuesday, February 13th, the air reeking of cheap drugstore roses and awkward office exchanges. You're single, scrolling through Netflix for the 17th time, contemplating another night of microwaved ramen and existential dread. But wait, a beacon of hope shines from your gaming console. Ultros, the latest psychedelic Metroidvania adventure, promising to whisk you away from your loveless purgatory and into a gloriously bizarre cosmic uterus. Intrigued? Confused? Mildly terrified? Buckle up, spacefarer, because this is your one-stop guide to navigating the surreal depths of Ultros. Just remember, unlike your Tinder date, this game won't ghost you, even if it throws you headfirst into an existential crisis. So, what's the scoop on this cosmic uterus situation? First things first, let's address the elephant, or perhaps, wombat, in the room. You, dear player, take on the role of Uji, a hapless soul stranded within the fleshy confines of the sarcophagus. Don't let the cozy-sounding name fool you. This ain't your grandma's sarcophagus. Imagine a pulsating, fleshy labyrinth teeming with bizarre life forms, pulsating lights, and the ever-present hum of something unsettling. Think Alien meets Dr. Seuss on a bad acid trip. Why are you there, and how do you escape? Excellent question. Unfortunately, the answer is as murky as the primordial soup Uji finds himself swimming in. The developers, bless their cryptic hearts, haven't exactly spilled the cosmic beans on the plot. We know there's an ancient demonic being trapped within the sarcophagus, and your escape is somehow tied to its appeasement, befriending, sacrificing small woodland creatures to? The possibilities are delightfully endless. But is it just weird for weirdness sake? Hold your space horses, cynics. While Ultros revels in its psychedelic aesthetic, there's more to it than just neon tentacles and eyeball trees. The game promises to explore themes of mental health, life, death, and the ever-present struggle to find meaning in a chaotic universe. Think of it as therapy wrapped in a Metroidvania burrito, seasoned with a generous sprinkle of the absurd. So, should you dive headfirst into this cosmic uterus on Valentine's Day? That, dear reader, is entirely up to you. If you're seeking a lighthearted romp through a candy-colored dreamscape, look elsewhere. But if you're craving a unique, thought-provoking, and slightly disturbing adventure that might make you question your very existence, then Ultros might just be your cosmic soulmate, or frenemy, depending on how you handle the uterus situation. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll delve into the mind-bending gameplay, the bone-crunching combat, and the soundtrack that will make your eardrums question their life choices. Just remember, pack your metaphorical hazmat suit. Things are about to get weird. Strap on your metaphorical space suit, dear reader, because we're diving deeper into the gloriously bizarre womb world of Ultros. Buckle up for an odyssey of mind-bending gameplay, gut-wrenching combat, and a soundtrack that will make your eardrums question their life choices. Navigating the Neon Noodle The sarcophagus ain't your grandma's walk in the park. Think less manicured lawns and more pulsating flesh tunnels, neon rivers of what we hope is not vile, and landscapes sculpted from sentient cheese, don't ask. Movement feels like a fever dream ballet. You'll grapple with pulsating membranes, slingshot off of eyeballs, courtesy of friendly cyclopean creatures, hopefully, and maybe even surf a wave of sentient mucus. Don't judge, it's surprisingly fun. Just remember, depth perception is a suggestion here, so prepare for some hilarious and potentially rage-inducing platforming mishaps. Slugfest with space oddities. Combat in Ultros is as strange as a taxidermied platypus wearing roller skates. You'll square off against mutated space hamsters that fire lasers from their butts, eyeball-headed jellyfish that shoot psychic blasts, and giant sentient cheese graters with a taste for human toes. Don't worry, you're safe. Probably. Weapons are equally outlandish. Think. Sentient spoons that fling sporks like ninja stars, boomerangs made of sentient pizza, and a trusty laser-powered yo-yo. Because why not? Mastering the combat is like learning to tap dance on a trampoline while juggling bowling pins. Chaotic, hilarious, and strangely satisfying. A symphony of the weird. The soundtrack of Ultros is a genre-bending masterpiece that would make David Bowie blush. Imagine a cosmic disco ball throwing up in a black hole, and you're halfway there. 
Pulsating techno beats mingle with melancholic whale songs sung by space cows, intercut with bursts of frenetic jazz played by tentacled abominations. It's unsettling, beautiful, and utterly unforgettable, perfectly mirroring the emotional roller coaster of OG's journey. Just don't blame me if you get the space cow ballad stuck in your head for weeks. But is it all just weirdness for weirdness sake? Absolutely not. Beneath the layers of the bizarre lies a surprisingly poignant story. As Uji navigates the fleshy labyrinth, he confronts not just physical challenges, but also his own inner demons. The game explores themes of isolation, identity, and the search for meaning in a universe that often feels nonsensical. It's a hilarious, unsettling, and ultimately thought-provoking experience that will stay with you long after you escape the cosmic uterus, or maybe not, depending on how good you are at platforming. So, is Ultros worth your time on Valentine's Day, or any other day, for that matter? If you're looking for a heartwarming rom-com, steer clear. But if you crave an adventure that's equal parts hilarious, challenging, and introspective, then Ultros might just be your cosmic soulmate. Just remember, pack your metaphorical hazmat suit, your sense of humor, and maybe a therapist on speed dial. This is one trip you won't soon forget, or maybe will, thanks to the sentient cheese fumes. So, you've squeezed your way out of the cosmic uterus, Uji, and hopefully your controller isn't permanently slick with existential goo. But is that all there is? Did you just spend hours platforming on eyeballs and battling cheese graters for, well, what exactly? Fear not, intrepid spacefarer, for the true trip is just beginning. Remember that ancient evil trapped within the fleshy prison? Yeah, turns out it followed you out, clinging to your psyche like a particularly stubborn space barnacle. Now, you're not just battling space hamsters, you're battling your own inner demons manifested as neon blobs and singing space octopi, because of course. It's like therapy, but with lasers and more tentacles. Buckle up, buttercup, it's gonna get weird. But amidst the chaos, a strange beauty emerges. The neon landscapes pulse with a melancholic charm. The soundtrack becomes a symphony of self-discovery, with occasional kazoo solos by space clowns, and even the cheese graters start to seem oddly endearing. Don't judge, we all have our flaws. You start to question everything, the universe, your place in it, and why cheese graters even exist. It's an existential roller coaster that would make Nietzsche take a Dramamine. So, is Ultros worth your time? That, dear reader, is the million dollar question, or the space buck question, if you prefer. If you're looking for a relaxing stroll through a meadow of unicorns, this ain't it. But if you're craving an adventure that's equal parts hilarious, mind-bending, and soul-crushing in the best way possible, then Ultros might just be your cosmic enema. I mean, soulmate. Just be prepared for some emotional baggage and the occasional bout of existential nausea. Who should play Ultros? Gamers with a taste for the absurd, lovers of the bizarre, and anyone who's ever wondered what it's like to be chased by a sentient cheese grater through a neon uterus. Avoid it if you're easily offended, have a weak stomach for the unsettling, or if the mere mention of space hamsters sends you running for the hills or the nearest therapy. Ultimately, Ultros is an experience unlike any other. It's a game that will make you laugh, cry, question your sanity, and maybe even play the best of games. Don't worry, it's the game's fault. So, if you're looking for a trip that's both hilarious and perspective, not head first into a positive focus, just remember, there's no turning back once you've been touched by the cheese grater. I mean, the magic of Ultros. Yes, if you do escape the cosmic uterus, take a long shower and consider burning your clothes. Trust me, it's for the best.